Hey guys, welcome to Path to Nowhere. So we have Nox here. I assume that most of you guys have already built Nox. So let's compare versions of what I am building and what you are building. Uh, and some of you might have a hard time of finding out what is good for her build. So let's start off first with her skill priority. So in terms of priority, which to level up, um, again, uh, it should be it should be what you call this. It should be with a sequence on what you want to improve first. But for Nox, to be honest with you, all four skills are very good, to say the least. So I'm gonna start off with the most important, which is her ultimate touch of despair, priority number one, because this makes her a beast. In terms of damage, in terms of clearing the board, and the skill range is very far. That is why we want this to be priority number one. Number two, of course, would be her normal attack because her kit is based, he, she, she deals damage based on her normal attack. That is why you also have to do this. You have to build this. The second or the second uh, in, in the sequence. Third would be Nether Intimidation. Okay, normal normal attack is destruction. And uh, the third one is ne uh, Nether Intimidation. This is the third skill that you will have to level up. Because as Nox is present in the battlefield, um, there's an automatic reduction of defense. This is not determined on if she hits it. It's automatic. And it goes all up to 27%. Right now, I have her at uh, level 5, which is 19.5% uh, defense reduction. So again, a very valuable skill or passive skill to have. Again, the top three are very close. And the fourth one, uh, for every for every enemy dead in battle, Nox gains a 0 0.6 attack bonus too. A maximum of 11.4%. Again, number four can be your number three. But I chose Soul Corruption to be number four. Because she has much damage with her ultimate and her normal attack as is. So Soul Corruption would be four. Again, the sequence would be Touch of Despair, Destruction, Nether Intimidation. And the last one would be Soul Corruption. Corruption. Moving on to her crime brand, guys. Um, there's only one crime brand that I think is going to be the best for her. I'm not sure if there are better. Uh, from what I've seen, even for those that are hard to find, this actually fits Nox well because this gives more damage to her normal attack. Okay, so as you can see here, normal attack damage is a plus 15% for the buff. That's a very big buff. So my total buff for her is at 21%. Again, this is a big buff, guys. So also a buff in attack, a buff in HP, and also, as you can see here, 6 plus 15, that's 21 on normal attack damage increase alone. So perfect. This is the perfect gear, or not gear, crime brand for her. And let's move on to her deployment role. Okay guys, so normally I would place my Nox in the middle. You generally can place her anywhere uh, because she can cover three lanes. You won't maximize her if you put her on each side, especially if there, there aren't, you know, um, enemies passing by this lane so as much as possible place her in the middle especially if they're funneled in the center with three lanes the middle lane is going to be her location she can actually attack up to here so that would make her range uh, you know far especially when she's in uh, her ultimate stage so that is it for Nox she can she can she can tank a bit with the help of Hamel actually at the back. She can really tank the front. So not a shame in you know not bringing a tank, but bringing Nox around as long as she has a healer with her, and also she can really sweep hordes and hordes of enemies approaching your chief. 
So I usually, if if your 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 concern is usually um, enemies reaching her like two, usually one of them would um, would uh, would pass through. Just put somebody in the back, advance her a bit, so that both of them could block one each. So again, you could also put put this this one. You could also put a link. Because it distributes the damage taken by the allied sinner among team members. So this one, if you activate this, this one distributes all of the damage Nox is receiving. So again, can be um, she can be a pseudo tank in, in a way or two. So again, uh, Nox is very versatile. A lot of damage, um, I think it would be a mainstay in your team if, you know, if you just build her right so that is it for her deployment role okay guys for her shackle level um i know it's hard to get copies of nox especially that we don't have her banner for most of you you actually have gotten her for free uh me too but i was actually fortunate enough to pull one copy of nox up to um give her up to shackle level one but to be honest with you guys um, priority is actually one um, you just have to get a copy of her because touch of despair her ultimate which when activated this state will extend by one second for each time Nox kills an enemy up to eight seconds so again imagine her ultimate state extending up to eight seconds that actually makes her very OP um, this is your priority the rest is a nice add-on like normal attack damage plus five number three is uh shudder while well, activated the the tower defense reduction effect of nether intimidation increased by 50 percent it's good as well as start start of the battle this is number four is also good if you really really can push it and summon for copies of her so at the start of the battle nox gains 15 points of energy which she can use her ultimate as soon as possible especially if there are hordes coming in as early so one is a must then probably your secondary goal is four because again the energy bonus is very very important okay so for nox's phase three let's uh, open up her crime brand here so when nox uses touch with despair she deals 600 percent of attack damage physical damage and one core damage to all enemies in a three by three square so once once you open up her phase three not only does she deal tons of damage then there's an additional one core damage to all enemies in a three by three square again that is super killer for each each enemy hit by this damage Nox takes 10% less damage during her ultimate stacking up to five times so that's roughly 50% less damage again if you're asking me and if you don't understand what, what I just said she is a must for phase 3 no question about it hands down Nox is going to be your queen of melee and destruction and clearing everything for Nox so again that is it guys those are the things that you should know about nox when you're building her so she is quite a specimen and um, she's my favorite so far so thank you very much guys see you in the next one